Good morning, Riverdale Elementary. A few updates I wanted to share with us and a few reminders as well. Uh, next week, we are going to have our school pictures. Uh, students who are attending in our hybrid model will be able to come in on, or excuse me, will have their picture taken on Monday, October 5th or Tuesday, October 6th on their in-person day. Uh, families who have students who are 100% remote learning, uh, they will be able to come in on those days as well in the afternoons between 1 and 3. Uh, we have designated time windows for each grade level that I shared out last week via email. Uh, please check that over, and certainly if you can't make that time, uh, we can probably have uh, make some adjustments to that to accommodate. Pictures will be held in the gym for those families who are 100% remote learning. Uh, and for in-person students, it'll be in uh, either a classroom or in the gym as well. Uh, those flyers or, or picture forms did come home. Uh, they're asking that families do order those online this school year. Uh, and on the flyer, it gives you the information uh, regarding how to order those uh, school pictures. Another thing I just want to kind of tip you off to is we will be having uh, a couple fire drills over the next few weeks. Um, we're going to walk our students through that as, as we normally do. Uh, just during their A day or their B day while they're in person, uh, just to make sure that, that we understand our evacuation routes and procedures. Uh, some of our younger students will also uh, participate in some educational curriculum offered to us through the Hillsdale Fire Department. Uh, so we're very grateful that they're willing to come out and do that for us. We also will have uh, parent-teacher conferences coming up. Uh, this year we're going to host them on uh, Wednesday, October 21st. Uh, those are going to be virtual this year. Uh, as well as uh, we're going to host those, uh, we're going to reach out for any, any students uh, we'd like to meet with their families, uh, whether it's uh, an at-risk student uh, or we just have some information we want to communicate or some questions that we may have uh, you know, from our classroom teachers. Certainly families can still uh, request a conference uh, as needed, uh, but I also want to remind families that uh, when at the end of the quarter on November 6th, uh, we'll be sharing uh, quite a bit of information for all of you regarding where your child is and, and areas to work on as well. Um, but obviously, along the way, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, uh, please be communicating with your classroom teachers. <laughs> then the last thing I have for us today is uh, any families who are planning to change their, their method of learning, uh, so if they're a 100% remote student who's not coming into our building, but they'd like to transition their student uh, back, we need to know by October 23rd is the last date that you can reach out to, whether it's your remote learning teacher, your classroom teacher, or, or us in the office to change that status. Again, that won't take effect until after first quarter, which ends on uh, November the 6th. Uh, however, that two-week window will allow us to, to adjust staffing, uh, get kids into bus routes, uh, and do all the things necessary in order to make that transition smooth. Uh, so again, families have until October 23rd to make that change. That change would remain in effect uh, until January 29th, which is the end of second quarter. Uh, so again, that would be uh, for a student who may be 100% remote, not coming to our building, who's transitioning and would like to come back uh, into our hybrid model for second quarter. Um, again, if you have any questions for that, please let us know. Um, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Uh, and again, if you ever need anything, please reach out to us. Have a good one, guys.